all right guys in this tutorial we're going to talk about bass and how you can get a bass sample on machine to last forever see i have a bass sample right here i'm gonna play it and it just cuts off what i want to do is get a way where i can have where i can hold the key and press down and it can just last forever so we're gonna go to pitch envelope we're gonna go to ADSSR and we're gonna cut down all of them just so we can see what's wrong with them. So first, let's go with the decay if we hold down. 12.3 milliseconds. If you hold sustain down if you cut it up. Kinda hangs in there. And if you cut the release up with the sustain up. You got the release. So what I want to do with this sample is to basically make it last forever. So right here, I want you to go to this waveform right here, and you go to the waveform, and then I want you to go to uh, zone to make sure everything is right, everything's in key, um, your tune and gain, everything's fine. Uh, go to let me see, go to edit and this is where it, this is where it's going to get difficult so first i want you to go to zone and hit loop i wish that they uh back back before the 2.0 days they had where loop was right here in the edit where it can be an all-in-one tab um or i think it was slice or edit but it was it was there so besides we're going to go to this uh, waveform. We're going to hit our C button. And it loops. That's what we want. So what I figured out on uh, one of these FL uh, Studio uh, videos is how to basically get your bass to loop. And I forgot that guy's name. But if I see the video, I'll link it on the bottom. And... Um, he was telling a way where you can uh, loop these bars right here, these little waveforms, to make a forever, a forever, I can't even say a forever baseline. So I'm going to squash this down here and let's play it. Okay, we got lots of clicks. So I'm going to drag my start up here. Let's do this again. Still got clicks. So what I would do is go in the waveform and count. Um, I want it to have four. I want you to have four little humps, like right here, humps, 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 little, uh, little camel humps. So, but you gotta be precise with it. So, uh, scroll up by using your little um, your little middle button on the mouse. And use and roll over to here. Try to see, try to get it on a zero cross as as close as you can. It takes trial and error. So we got one, two. Let me see. We got one, two, three, four humps. So let's let's make sure this zero crossings is good on this hump. So let's drag this in. Squash this up so I can see. Okay, now let's get it right here in this little area. This is what a zero crossing is. So let's drag this over here. And try to get a little closer. This is close as you can get. It's still close enough. All right, great. So then use make sure that your your loop brace is connected. So just drag it over to the end to snap. So whatever, till it gets close. Cool. So let's play let's play the bass again. Cool. Um in this zone you will want to go to zone in this way because you hit a clicks, go to zone and go right here to crossfade. And just what I would do is just crank it all the way up. Uh trial and error. Uh I always go with nine 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 and then hit enter for the end. So you got uh your crossfade is to Ten, uh, hundred thousand milliseconds or uh, samples. So let's let's hit it. Let's go down. Try to get it 
Trial and error, trial and error. Let's go back. Let's go get a. Let's crank this in a little bit. There you go. You got a little wobble. I need to. I need to fix this though, cause I want to sound better than that. There it is. So you got. See, I got everything cross faded and everything, so I can uh, basically uh, hit sustain and crank it up, and then I can just hold my note. That's how you do it. Find your waveform, count the humps, and then trial and error. See, I thought it was going to be the top of the hump made the clicks, but the bottom of the hump on the machine software helps out with the uh, with the pass through, so you won't hear no clipping. So, that's my video. If you look at this, the end waveform, the front waveform is the bottom of the zero crossings. And then if you click out to the other part, we got the slope of the bottom again. So uh, the bottom of the waveforms will get a good crossfade than the top of the waveforms. Uh, like and subscribe, guys. Uh, more videos coming out. You know how we do it. Peace.